Time of death, 2100 hours. Time of reboot, 900 hours, 20 minutes. I make a good detective. I'm observant. I have a strong eye for detail. My name looks good on a business card. I do not make for a good punching bag. Good thing these punches only hurt when I laugh. Tell me where the hologram is, Nightbower, and maybe I'll let you pick up your teeth with some broken fingers. I taunt them. I run my motor mouth for as long as I have gas, hoping that my hologram can run for cover. Run, you holographic idiot. Ruby Vion, age 25. His sister gave us the green light to holographically reboot his body at the morgue. No more information on how he died. I knew something felt wrong when my secretary, Vivian, pulled up the case. Back when I was a cop, I would get these gut feelings sometimes. The kind of feelings that make you carry your spare firearm, or the kind that makes you call your girlfriend before you go out on patrol. I looked into his face, and I knew that something was going to go down today. <laughs> by championing the dead. The ultimate act of disrespect for the dead is to recreate it in its hollowest of forms. The hologram is the lowest form. It is sound and fury signifying nothing. The dead must be allowed to die. Nybauer, Nybauer, you, you listening to me? Where's the hologram? Why would you give your life up for someone who's already died? Got busted ribs and loose teeth. That's a damn fine question. Nybauer, Nybauer, come on! Tell me something I want to hear. I decided to do the opposite and tell him a theory about why he's so ugly, involving his mother and an amorous donkey. <laughs> Very funny. Very funny! Easy, Ron. Don't kill him. Wait. Leave him alone. There's, there's no... There's no need for a second man to die here today. I'm here. Leave him alone! I'm going to be taking your ghost frame, Nybauer. And if you value the living, more than the dead, none of this will be happening. You reap what you sow. Let's go, Red. Thank you.